Hey everybody, this is Jen from Garden Jen's Journey. Welcome to my channel. Today we are outside enjoying the beautiful uh, sunshine and just trying a new experiment today, seeing how things are going. So stay here and I'll tell you what that experiment is right here on Garden Jen's Journey. So if you've been watching the channel uh, for any amount of time um, within the past few months or so, you know that uh, we have a new babies on our homestead as far as chickens and ducks and things like that. And we've had our ducks outside for uh, I think a couple weeks now in their own uh, segregation coop. And it's been beautiful outside where they can come outside, stretch their legs, um, and just enjoy being outside. Um, and the segregation coop is attached to the main coop. That way, um, when we put animals in the segregation coop, they can be seen by the other animals, and eventually we can uh, integrate the flock together. And so that's kind of what we're doing today, is um, the, the ducks have been on their own in the segregation uh, pen area for about two weeks now. Um, it's a gorgeous day today. <laughs> Um, the chickens are getting antsy because they're not allowed outside of the pen because uh, my garden's wide open. Um, but the ducks were feeling like they're being left out and uh, saying they're feeling kind of lonely. And so I decided today we're going to open up the door and see what happens when the ducks and the chickens combine. And... Uh, Besides Skid Mark and Fatsy Patsy arguing back and forth, things have been quite calm around here. So this is Skid Mark. He is the ugly chickling that we bought last year, kind of as uh, a joke because um, when we bought uh, him, it actually was a group of pullets that we had bought and uh, the colorations of him as a chick were very pathetic they were just really 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 ugly and so you know I said um, I want to buy that chick just to see what it turns out to be when it grows up and well um, it wasn't a chick we got a rooster um, but he is just a gorgeous rooster and um, he does a very good job with the flock um, so thankful for him um, so you definitely cannot judge a book by its cover. You cannot judge a chick by their markings, especially ones that um, they look nothing like their uh, chick feathering when they grow up. Skidmark looks nothing like uh, what he did as a chick. And uh, it's just, he's just doing a wonderful job and we're so blessed. I'm so thankful I took that chance on buying the most ugliest chick in the, uh, in the group. And he turned out to be a beautiful uh, rooster. <clears throat> the other uh, animals are in here scourging around, scratching and things, digging up all the straw that we've had for the ducks, working it into the soil, which is good. Um, if you know anything about raising ducks um, or geese or things, if you raise them in a pen, uh, their area just becomes really caked, really nasty because they have very wet droppings that does not get worked into the soil. So having the chickens come in here and till up the soil and work up all that wet, nasty um, manure from the ducks is one of the reasons we opened up the door today. <clears throat> the ducks are over here in their little spot there. Uh, they've been out, amount, out and around amongst the chickens here. They've even um, tried uh, pushing their weight around. These ducks are only about four to five weeks old, but they're already letting these chickens know that uh, they're not going to be bossed around. We did have quite a fight in here a little while ago because they picked on one of our Rhode Island Reds, and uh, 
Miss Henrietta, as we call her, she's not one to be picked on. Um, she'll lay you out flat. And so she terrorized the ducklings for a little bit, and uh, everything's calmed down. Now this noise, if you've never heard it come from a rooster before, he's actually doing his job. Um, that's the typical noise that a hen makes when she goes to lay an egg. And, um, you know, for a predator, that's very easy for a predator to find the chicken because they're making this noise. So therefore, a rooster will copycat that noise to draw the attention of the predator away from the hens. So if you ever hear a rooster doing this, it's because he's doing his job and drawing the attention away from the hen that's making that noise. He's such a good boy. We have quite a few chickens over here that are dust bathing and really working at the ground around the elderberry bushes, which is good. It'll be nice, loose, well-draining soil that'll be definitely fertilized with their droppings. And so I really um, am thankful that I opened this up last year to let the birds back here uh, to get underneath the elderberries to, to get shade, to get dust bathing, and also to be able to work that soil so it doesn't get compact and so the, the plants stay nice and fertilized. So um, it's a win-win situation. Um, I had to trim them back quite a bit this year because they actually were using the elderberry bushes to jump up and out of the pen. We actually have to raise the fence line up a little bit further so they cannot jump up and out of here because we do have about uh, three or four chicken escape artists. As I said, the ducks and the chickens seem to be mingling all right. Um, this has only been about an hour since I opened the gate. And uh, there's going to be a lot of push and pull. There's going to be a lot of trying to find boundaries. Um, but overall, I'm very, very happy with the results so far. There's not really any major aggression going on. It's just your typical dominance in trying to find the place that you belong in the farm pack. <clears throat> so that is the experiment update. If this continues to go well, eventually we will be able to move the ducks into their own coop out of the segregation pen and move the chicks that are in the brooder box into the segregation pen. Um, it's a bigger area. The, the coop is a lot bigger than the brooder box that they're in now. And they're getting to the point where they're almost outgrowing that brooder box. So we do have to get a move on, get the animals moved around, and uh, get ready for our next batch of chicks, which is uh, to hatch in two weeks. So I hope you found this video um, enjoyable. I sure love watching our birds just mingle and have a good time just doing what they do. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video and share it with your friends. Um, if you haven't been a part of the journey for very long, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and stick with us on the journey. And you'll see what we do here. There's all sorts of stuff that we do. We do the chickens and the gardening and all sorts of homesteading skills. So go ahead and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. But until then, I hope that wherever you are, you are wonderfully blessed. Till next time, everybody. Bye-bye.